Uh, we use Copley Crypt a lot. Copley Crypt's probably my favorite Catholic space on campus. You can really feel God very present in that space. And they have a 10 p.m. mass there every night. There's a great community that goes there. And we have a different Jesuit each day, which is nice, and you get to know them a little better through that. Uh, but whenever you're there, it's really a nice way to end the day and to kind of come back to what's most important and what you're grounded in. In Macomb, so that's where we have our monthly bagel brunches. That's a really fun kind of like community space and we use it for that. We had a chocolate seder in there. We've used it for like conversations within the Jewish community. Like that community building happens in Macomb, so I think people are generally willing to sit with new people and like kind of create that sense, which is something that you don't always get at like college and like that was one of the first places that I really felt comfortable and I think like the way that we use Macomb kind of fosters that. It all happens in Macomb. In general, um, definitely like the communal aspect of the religion is something that's so important. Uh, a lot of like devotional song is done like together, so I think that's really powerful to like hear all of that come together. We have dinner and like everyone like sits together and just eats and talks together, and I think that's been really valuable this year, especially um, with everything that's going on in the world. And even though that doesn't connect to the faith part directly, just having that space for everyone to come together, that's been it's been good to have that this year. So for the Muslim prayer space, we have every evening um, congregational Isha prayer, and it's usually um, a time for everyone in the community to come together. That space has been a place where I've cried a lot, <laughs> I've met amazing people, I've stayed there to have my own personal moments of reflection. Like, I guess the most beautiful memories that I cherish is bringing my friends who are not Muslim to that prayer space um, and showing them a sense of home for me on campus. So Gospel Choir is the choir on campus, and we sing every Sunday in St. William's Chapel during the Protestant worship service. And there are some students that actually study in St. William's Chapel because it is like one of those sacred spaces on campus. It's great to have a place on campus, and I'd say Georgetown is really open to like the interfaith community, and I can actually worship on campus and build that community of faith on campus without having to actually leave Georgetown to go to services. Dahlgren Chapel, kind of the central uh, Catholic space on campus, I guess. That's where all the Sunday Masses are hosted. On a daily basis, you have the 12, 10 p.m. Mass in there. And then Sundays, you have about six Masses. On Saturdays, there are weddings in there, um, baptisms. They also will have Dahlgren dialogues now. Usually those are um, really interesting speakers. They'll come and speak about interesting um, topics related to faith. Uh, each week, a leader of a various faith tradition will lead you. It's the Interfaith Prayer for Peace, is what it's called. Um, and so it's nice to gather with people from across the traditions, uh, and take a few minutes, be with others, and engage in prayer. We organized this Hindu-Catholic dialogue in Dahlgren. I think it's the first Hindu-Catholic dialogue to happen in Dahlgren Chapel itself. It made me really emotional. This Hindu dialogue was taking place in a chapel like that. I don't know, that event itself like solidified, like, this is why I go to Georgetown.